but just take it for granted. That's why it's a theorem. Some smart people have talked about this before and thought about this and proved it. So we are free to use it and that's quite great. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. This video has been requested actually a long time ago, but back then I didn't have a clue how to um, do something like this. But I came across something pretty sneaky and we are going to talk about the Taylor series expansion for the Lambert W function today. And there are actually two ways to do this. On the one hand using um, just Taylor series and power series reversion, but it's bloody messy. Maybe I'm going to make a video on that in the near future. And the second method just being to use the Lagrange inversion theorem. And that's actually this thing right here. So, oh, that failed miserably, this little move. This right here is the theorem I just talked about and we are going to take a look at it and we are going to work with it today to find out a Taylor series expansion for the Lambert W function. So, some great guy called Lagrange, he was also a great physicist, um, found out something nice to reverse the Taylor series expansion, you could say. So, let's see. So, let's set be just f of x and well, we want this function to be analytical, complex differentiable. Um, you could also say we don't want it to cause us any problems at a certain point x0, a uh, value x0. And we don't want the derivative of f at the point x0 to be equal to zero. And if those conditions hold, then we can take a look at the inverse function g of z being equal to x. So that would be our Lambert W function in this case. And then we can express it as this ugly looking thing right here um, with this gn right here being this thing. And if you take a look, this thing looks awfully a lot like the mean value theorem. So it has something to do with derivatives and stuff like this. And this thing right here is just a differential operator. So this does mean nothing but um, you can interpret this as the n minus 1 derivative with respect to x. So you can interpret it like this. And well, all we really need to do is to plug in our stuff and check if all those conditions hold and then we can calculate the Taylor series expansion for the Lambert W function. And this is quite cool if you ask me. So this theorem is quite powerful and it makes things way easier. So let us take a look at the main boy at first. So f of x. What is f of x exactly? It's the inverse function of the Lambert W function and it's defined as x times e to the x. And we want f to be analytical. If you know a few things about calculus, this thing right here is analytical at every point. So it doesn't matter which value for x you are going to plug in, it won't cause us any problems, it won't explode to infinity. And this is quite good. So if you would have another case, for example, um, e to the x over x, that wouldn't be analytical at every point because you have this x down here, for example. Um, I'm not really certain, but you see if you plug in zero into here as x naught, that would cause us problems. It would explode to infinity. So we don't want that, but this isn't the case right here. So that's quite nice. So we could choose every point x naught and it wouldn't cause us problems. It would be analytical. So this is a cool fact and which point um, could be used. Well, if you take a look at this thing right here, well, we would have an x0 term right here. So, so why not just plug in zero, for example, to simplify this? So many things would get simplified. For example, this would just um, vanish if you plug in zero as x0. So let's consider x0 as being just zero. So that would be the easiest case. And now there's another condition. We don't want f prime at the spot x0 to be equal to zero. So now we need to consider f prime right here. So differentiating both sides with respect to x, we need to use the product rule in this case. So differentiating the first part is just e to the x and then well plus and now we have x times e to the x. So differentiating this thing right here, it stays as it is. And if you take a look, if we plug in x0 into here, f prime of x0, we are going to end up, well, this thing is just 1, e to the 0 of power, and this thing is going to be 0. So that means we have 1 right here not being equal to 0. So those conditions are already satisfied. So this is quite amazing. And now, since those conditions are satisfied, we can take a look at the Lambert W function. So 
the lambda w function of z. We want to express it like this right here. So let's write everything out. So you know that x0, well, what is that? x0 is just zero, so we can get rid of this, and now we have this infinite series right here. So at first we can express it as the infinite sum from n equals to one to infinity of, so at first we have Lambert n down here, Lambert with an index of n, with respect to z, don't forget that. And well, what else do we have? Up here we have z minus f of x0. But what is f of x0? If we plug in x0 into here, this is just going to be zero. So f of x0 is just zero. So this simplifies quite nicely. So we just have z to the nth power over n factorial. And now we just need to consider this thing right here. So let's take a look at that. What exactly is wn? Offset. Well, this is just defined as the limit as x goes to zero in this case, because x naught is just zero, and then of the n minus one derivative with respect to x. And now, what is this right here? Well, we have x minus zero, and down here we have f of x minus f of x naught, which is just zero. So we are going to end up with x over x times e to the x to the nth power. So you see where this comes from. I hope you can see it. Okay, cool. And now you see this is going to cancel out. 1 over e to the x is just e to the negative x. Raised to the nth power is just going to be e to the negative n times x. So this thing is just the limit as x goes to 0 of the n minus 1 derivative of e to the negative n times x. Well, and you know if we differentiate this n minus 1 times, we are going to drag it down all the time. So we are just going to end up. Okay, so this is the limit as x goes to 0. Um, so if we drag down, uh, uh, if we do the first derivative, we are just going to end up with, let's put it here just so you can uh, follow the thought process. So the first derivative, d dx e to the negative n times x is just going to be negative n times e to the negative n times x. If you take the second derivative, d dx squared e to the negative n times x, is just this thing, but differentiated with respect to x once again, it's just going to give us negative 1 squared n squared e to the negative n times x, and so on. So you might see, you might see a pattern right here. This is just going to evaluate to negative n to the n minus 1 power, in this case, because n minus 1 right here, e to the negative n times x. And now we can let the limit approach 0 right here. So we are just going to end up with negative n to the n minus 1 power. And well, we can just plug this in and then we are done. So the Taylor series expansion for this thing, let's put it here. So this is the grande finale. Lambert of z can be expressed as the infinite sum, the infinity boy, from n equals to 1 to infinity of, and now we have negative n to the n minus 1 power times, and now we have z to the nth power, over n factorial. And then we are already done. So I hope you can see where all of this came from. I just wanted to do it in small, small steps, just so that you can see <coughs> the applications of this theorem right here. It falls a bit from the sky. I don't know a proper proof of this thing. Um, we once had it discussed in Calc 2, if I remember correctly, but just take it for granted. That's why it's a theorem. Some smart people have talked about this before and thought about this and proved it. So we are free to use it and that's quite great because we can derive crazy stuff like this. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. If you want to support me a bit more, link to my Patreon is in the description. And up until the next video, um, have a standard add-on packages. 3.0 day. See ya. Hanna.